Hello everyone! In today's tip video, we're going to take a look at Esprit's Collision Detection feature. This feature detects collisions between the tool assembly and the part or stock. In this example, we will show you how to use collision detection with the Z-Level Roughing Mold Cycle. First, click on Create Features and create a new freeform with two solid faces at the corners as the part. Now we are going to create a Z-level roughing operation on this freeform. Select the freeform and click Solid Mill Mold, then Z-level roughing. In the Collision Detection tab, you can choose a collision detection type. When none is checked, Collision detection shows the collision between the holder and the part. We will use a very short tool to show this clearly. You can also check for collisions without running a simulation by picking Check and Report Collisions. With this option, a report is created in the output window at the end of the toolpath calculation. It shows the tool assembly causing the collision and the minimal tool length out of the holder to avoid the collision. If you check Avoid Collisions with Assembly, the shape of the toolpath is automatically adapted to avoid collisions between the tool assembly and the part. With this option, you can define a shank clearance or a holder clearance that guarantees that the shank or the holder does not get too close to the part. In this case, the new toolpath avoids any collisions. That's today's tip video. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter or share this video and stay tuned for other tips and tricks.